let's take a look at the capabilities and benefits of automatic measurements and markers. Standard features on our next generation Infinium EXR, MXR, and UXR series oscilloscopes. Automatic measurements allow for accurate and more repeatable results for common, defined measurements, like frequency or overshoot. Markers allow you to take control and make custom measurements based on criteria not so easily defined. So let's start with measurements. On the left side of the screen is a convenient shortcut, drag and drop measurements. Not only does this make getting a measurement set up convenient, no menus are required, but it lets you uniquely define where on screen a measurement should be made. Here, you're watching me ask the oscilloscope what the pulse widths are for different parts of this repetitive pulse train. I can then easily right click and set up measurement callouts to further clarify the measurements being made. This is perfect for a quick screenshot, which is easily accessible through a right click on the screen. There's also the convenient quick measurement feature we mentioned in a previous video. Here it is in action under measure mark, quick mes. 10 common measurements are enabled and begin collecting statistics. You can customize the columns of data displayed, the size of the display pane, and its location on screen. If you have a second monitor, you can even drag results over there to focus the main screen on monitoring your waveform. I've exaggerated things by using a very low resolution setting on the external monitor, but 4K displays are supported by the onboard Intel HD graphics. You can also add a measurement manually in the Add Measurement dialog. Here, you can sort through all the available measurements by type. There are over 100 available, with threshold setups and other configuration options available depending on what you've selected. Pressing Apply keeps the dialog open, which is handy for adding many custom measurements all at once. Now there is further capability within the measurement setup menu, such as whether the scope should measure all portions of an on-screen waveform or just the centermost qualifying measurement. How many significant digits should it show? And other ways to select and deselect data columns and measurements themselves. Markers are set up in Measure Mark, Add Markers. Three modes are available. Manual mode, which can be on one axis or both, tracking the waveform, and tracking measurements. You're given two markers at a time for each axis and can select what sources to tie them to. This gives you the ability to look at delta time or delta voltage on one channel or between two channels or between a channel and a math function or a reference waveform. You get the idea. You can set up many sets of markers, so you're given the option to label and color code them if needed. Once you're done, press OK. You can now move the four manual markers about the screen freely and see the delta measurements in the results pane. When markers track a waveform, you lose an axis of freedom, as the other axis is locked to the waveform's vertical value. You can also use markers to visually track an automatic measurement. This is more readily achieved by just right-clicking on the measurement of interest, but can also be done in that Add Marker menu. You can also go under File, Save, and save off measurement and marker data as a CSV file, as well as generate a PDF measurement report, as shown here. Finally, make sure to check out the rest of the series highlighting the new capabilities in our next generation platforms linked in the description below.